Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s basketball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on March 24th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1986 Fleer Patrick Ewing rookie, card number 32. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 49 is this 1986 Fleer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card number one. This was an SGC eight and it sold for $40.80. Coming in at number 48 is this 1985 star last 11 rookie of the year's Larry Bird card number six. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $43.20. Up next at number 47 is this 1980 Tops featuring Magic Johnson, Maurice Cheeks, and Ron Boone. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $48 even. The human highlight film makes his first appearance on today's list at number 46 with this 1983 star Dominique Wilkins card number 8. This was a BGS 7.5 and it sold for just over $50. Up next at number 45 is this 1988 Fleer Reggie Miller rookie card number 57. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $62.40. Coming in at number 44 is this 1989 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 21. This Jordan was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $64.80. Up next at number 43 is this 1984 Star Larry Bird card number one. This was a BGS 7.5 and it also sold for $64.80. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 42 with this 1986 Star Court Kings Hakeem Olajuwon card number 25. This was a BGS 8 and it sold for $67.20. Up next at number 41 is this 1980 Topps Rebounding Leaders. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $72 even. Coming in at number 40 is this 1986 Star Court Kings Charles Barkley card number 3. This was a BGS 8 and it sold for $74.40. Up next at number 39 is this 1986 star best of the new old Ralph Sampson card number four. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $84. Coming in at number 38 is this 1985 star Gatorade slam dunk Clyde Drexler Card number four. This was a BGS 8.5 and it also sold for $84 even. Up next at number 37 
is this 1986 Fleer Carl Malone rookie, card number 68. This rookie was in a PSA 8, and it sold for $86.40. Coming in at number 36 is this 1981 Topps Magic Johnson card number 21. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $88.80. Coming in at number 35 is this 1985 Starlight All-Stars Larry Bird card number 2. This was a BGS 8.5, and it sold for $93.60. Up next at number 34 is this 1988 Fleer Scotty Pippen rookie, card number 20. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $96.00. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 33 with this 1983 Star James Worthy short print, card number 25. This was a BGS 7.5 and it also sold for $96. Up next at number 32 is this 1986 star best of the new old Hakeem Olajuwon card number three. This was a BGS nine and it sold for $108. Coming in at number 31 is this 1985 star Larry Bird white border card number 95. This was a BGS 8.5, and it sold for $112.80. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1985 star all-rookie team Charles Barkley, card number 3. This was a BGS 8, and it sold for $117.60. Up next at number 29 is this 1985 star all-rookie team Hakeem Olajuwon card number 1. This was a BGS 8 and it sold for $117.60. Coming in at number 28 is this 1984 star Dominique Wilkins card number 76. This was a BGS 8.5, and it also sold for $117.60. Up next at number 27 is this 1989 Hoops Michael Jordan card number 200. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $120. We're back to the 1981 Topps basketball set at number 26 with this Larry Bird card number 4. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $126. Coming in at number 25 is this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan sticker, sticker number 2. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $192. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 24 with this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 59. This was a PSA 7, and it sold for $210. Coming in at number 23 
is this 1985 star all-rookie team John Stockton, card number 8. This was a BGS 9, and it sold for $252. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 22 with this 1989 Hoops David Robinson rookie, card number 138. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $288. Coming in at number 21 is this 1985 Nuggets Police featuring Michael Jordan, card number 8. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $336. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1985 star Patrick Ewing, card number 166. This was a BGS 8.5, and it sold for $348. Up next at number 19 is this 1986 Fleer Dominique Wilkins Rookie, card number 121. This card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $372. Coming in at number 18 is this 1988 Fleer Michael Jordan All-Star, card number 120. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $408. Up next at number 17 is this 1988 Fleer John Stockton Rookie, card number 115. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $420. Coming in at number 16 is this 1985 Star Light All-Stars Michael Jordan, card number 4. This was a BGS 5.5, and it sold for $630. Up next at number 15 is this 1986 Star Court Kings Michael Jordan, card number 18. This Jordan was in a BGS 8 and it sold for $660. Up next at number 14 is this 1986 Star Best of the New Old Michael Jordan, card number 2. This was a BGS 7, and it sold for $750. Make that four straight appearances at number 13, with this 1985 star Gatorade Slam Dunk Michael Jordan, card number 7. This was a BGS 7, and it sold for $750. Up next at number 12 is this 1984 star John Stockton, card number 235. This was a BGS 9, and it sold for $750. Coming in at number 11 is this 1984 star Charles Barkley, card number 202. This was a BGS 8.5, and it also sold for $750. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan Rookie Sticker, sticker number 8. This was a BGS 8, and it sold for $990. Up next at number 9 
is this 1985 star last 11 rookie of the year's Michael Jordan card number one. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $1,380. Coming in at number 8 is this 1985 star all-rookie team Michael Jordan, card number 2. This Jordan was in a BGS 8 and it sold for $1,500. Make that 4 straight top 10 appearances at number 7 with this 1985 star Michael Jordan, card number 117. This was a BGS 8.5, and it also sold for $1,500. Coming in at number 6 is this 1986 Fleer Clyde Drexler Rookie, card number 26. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $1,830. All right, guys, and before we get to the top five, I do have five quick bonus cards to share with you today. And I was mainly looking for players that missed the top 50. We'll start off with this 1985 Starlight All-Stars Julius Irving, card number three. This was a BGS 8, and it sold for $36 even. For another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1986 Star Court Kings Isaiah Thomas, card number 28. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $33.60. For another 1980s rookie, we get this 1988 Fleer Dennis Rodman, card number 43. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $32.40. For our fourth bonus card, another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1986 Fleer Joe Dumars rookie, card number 27. This was an SGC 8 and it sold for $24 even. And for our fifth and final bonus card, I included this one because I ran across it and it's amazing compared to what the Jordan stickers sell for it from this set. We get this 1988 Panini Super Sport Spanish Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card number two. This was a CSG5 and it sold for $12. And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1988 Fleer Michael Jordan, card number 17. This Jordan was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $2,760. Up next at number four is this 1981 Topps Kevin McHale rookie, card number 75. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $2,880. Coming in at number 3 is this 1980 Topps Irving Bird Magic Triple Auto. This was a PSA 6 that was given a 9 grade for the autos, and it sold for $3,000 even. Up next at number two is this 1985 Nike promo Michael Jordan. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for $9,300. And make that back-to-back -back appearances to top off today's list at number one with this 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card number 57. This Jordan was in a BGS 9, and it sold for $9,900. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.